If God didn't want us to enjoy blank, he wouldn't have given us blank. Oh boy. Oh my god, guys, you're gonna hate me. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is so wrong in so many ways. <laughs> oh, tell me when the cars are turning. Okay. So, if God div didn't want us to enjoy blackface, he wouldn't have given us Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> if God didn't want us to enjoy a brain tumor, he wouldn't have given us glory holes. <laughs> if God didn't want us to have pixelated bukkake, he wouldn't have given us such a big boy. <laughs> Yay! Ah. <laughs> I'm starting hard. That's what she said. Hey, baby, come back to my place and I'll show you blank. Oh, wow. What will I show you when you come back to my place? What would you guys like to see when you come back to my place? Many things. Well, give me an answer. I'd like to see Charles Darwin. How do you know? Okay. Hey, baby, come back to my place and I'll show you the Big Bang. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, come back to my place and I'll show you natural selection. Hey, baby, come back to my place and I'll show you finally finishing off the Indians. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to have to go with the giggity, giggity. Giggity, giggity. Yes. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> okay, you are not alone. Millions of Americas struggle blank. Hang on, let me rephrase that. You are not alone. Millions of Americans struggle with blank every day. That was quick. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you are not alone. Millions of Americans struggle with Jeff Goldblum every day. <laughs> You are not alone. Millions of Americans struggle with praying the gay away every day. <laughs> you are not alone. Millions of Americans struggle with mouth herpes every day. You know, I'm gonna have to go with the one that makes sense. Yay! I don't mean to brag, but they call me Michael Jordan of blank. I don't mean to brag, but they call me the Michael Jordan of finding out that Santa isn't real. Yeah. I don't mean to brag, but they call me the Michael it's Jordan right. of civilian casualties. <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but they call me the Michael Jordan of crippling debt. <laughs> well, seeing that I also am a GTA 5 player. Aww. Yeah! It does happen a lot when I don't. What don't you want to find in your Kung Pao chicken? Now, if you guys were ordering Kung Pao chicken, I got the perfect. And this appeared inside of it. What would you not want to see? <laughs> what don't you want to find in your Kung Pao chicken? Elderly Japanese men. <laughs> Yes. What don't you want to find in your Kung Pao chicken? This new, this, this groovy new thing called LSD. Yeah, with... But you never know. Hey, you know what? That might make your Kung Pao chicken taste amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want. What don't you want to find in your Kung Pao chicken? An immediately regrettable nine dollar hot dog from the Boston Convention Center. <laughs> what? Well, I don't know about you, but having a hot dog on my Kung Pao chicken might make it better. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go with the elderly Japanese man. <laughs> yeah, I'm on fire! So, I want you to get you some water, man. <laughs> As part of his contract, Prince won't perform without blank in his dressing room. Now, if you were Prince, what would you not perform without? <laughs> oh, that game is so fun. With the one and only. As part of his contract, Prince won't perform without flying robots to kill people in his dressing room. That's a little extensive preaching bastard. 
<laughs> As part of his contract, Prince won't perform without kill without Keanu Reeves in his dressing room. <laughs> As part of his contract, Prince won't perform without amputees in his dressing room. Okay, quick. Whoever played the Keanu Reeves cards, which character? Yeah. No, you leave. <laughs> in the distant future, historians will agree that blank marked the beginning of America's decline. Yep, Pit. You look no, like mine. We... Mine's the best. Oh, yeah. I shit you not, if there is any Donald Trump card when I open my eyes, you automatically win it. In the distant future, historians will agree that me time marked the beginning of America's decline. In the distant future, historians will agree that a 0 0.7 waist to hip ratio marked the beginning of America's <laughs> decline. That's kind of true. In the distant future, historians will agree that auto cannibalism marked the beginning of America's decline. All I have to say is fucking robots. Yeah. God damn it. What's the most emo? <laughs> Oh, that's the best. I think this is a good way to end the video. What's the most emo? We need to know. This is a subject that's been haunting the world for generations. <laughs> we will solve it right here. What's the most emo? Dropping a chandelier on your enemies and riding the rope up? No clothes on, penis, and vagina. Or injecting speed into one arm and horse tranquilizer into the other. That's me. Well, here's my explanation. Dropping a chandelier on your enemies and riding the rope up is just amazing action movie. You can't have an action movie without some sort of falling object rope riding, in my opinion. No clothes on, penis and vagina? That's just awesome. I don't care what you guys say. Now, injecting speed into one arm and horse tranquilizer into the other. I'm sure that's probably gonna kill you depending on the doses. <laughs> so that is my choice. Yeah!